all right what up my beautiful virgos welcome back to the channel it's your girl genie and you already know what it is so let's just get into the energy we're going to be doing the word of the week all right the word of the week is just when i tell you um some words of wisdom that i have picked up over the week um, talk about it and hopefully it gives you something that you can use all right so let's just get into the energy the first thing i got was confirmation sensation all right it's almost like a confirmation notification confirmation uh feeling virgo so uh i was really getting the point where people are not like trusting their intuition their intuition tells them things and they second they second guess their intuition they doubt it um they go against their greater judgment because usually with your intuition usually with your feeling um does not logically support what you want to do okay so a lot of it comes from um exert observing yourself okay because sometimes sometimes doing the right thing is doing the exact thing that you don't want to do okay for instance like if you know that you need to change your job right <clears throat> if you know that you need to get a different job but you don't want to um because of all the comforts and whatever this job provides right you've gotten the confirmation to do so um but it goes against your logic what you want and your comfort so then you second guess this confirmation instead of moving when they told you to move um and that's how you can trip yourself up and start doubting your intuition okay so observing um your ego, your feelings, your emotions about the situation will allow you to determine if you're ignoring your intuition out of fear or if it's legit, okay? Because um, most of the time, if your your mind, body, and your soul has told you, like, we got to get out of here, and you're ignoring that because of your comfort, um, you will know, right? It will be very easy to know unless you're being delusional so be straightforward with yourself and the energy is what i'm trying to say um sometimes doing what you got to do is doing the opposite of what you want to do um and sometimes growing goes against everything in your body okay your body and your mind your body and the things in the 3d will go against your mind and your intuition and your emotions okay but to win in to win in this lifetime you have to be stronger than your body you have to be stronger than your emotions you have to be stronger than your ego you have to be stronger than the than the fear of failing than you fear failing Virgo. you have to be stronger than you feel fear failing so with this energy spirit is wanting you to work on your confirmation sensation virgo and never doubt that confirmation um, in order to start relying on your intuition better, Virgo, and starting to trust yourself better, trust the universe better, more. Um, so, yeah, that's the energy. First one is confirmation, um, confirmation sensation, do something. Even if it's not a sensation, Virgo, you could ask the universe, like, send me a sign. If I see this sign, I know it's a definite yes, and then I'm tripping. If I see this, then I know it's a definite no, and I'm tripping. You feel me? So there needs to be something um, that will signify for you. And then I often get the question, when I tell people that, I often get the question, like, what if I ask for confirmation and I get nothing? Okay, first of all, um, you have to build a relationship with whoever you're asking for confirmation to uh, be able to see, pick up patterns, have epiphanies, you feel me? And second of all, if you don't get confirmation to the thing that you are asking about, that's confirmation for you to wait for confirmation. It's not confirmation for you to jump and do something, Virgo. It's for you to wait so if you ask the universe look send me a bluebird if a bluebird shop show up in my energy today i know that is a yes and no birds come in your facility <laughs> whatsoever um that means it's a wait for the confirmation virgo um so yeah the other thing i was gonna say was The other thing I was going to say was um, if you don't get a confirmation on what you're trying to do, sometimes, y'all, sometimes the universe wants us to do things blindly, pushes us out of the nest blindly in order for us to trust our intuition. So sometimes 
um, when you don't, when you go against your intuition and you don't um, trust what you're being told, sometimes you're pushed into chaos. So then the next time you'll listen to what you were told. Um, that's why they say hindsight is 2020. Um, because in hindsight, you were told something, but you couldn't see it until after it happened. Um, so confirmation sensation. You ignored it and then now it's confirmed after something happened so sometimes the universe pushes us blindly to go into things to be hurt to stumble to fall in order for us to trust our intuition more okay uh, and then there's the other hand of that trusting your intuition too much uh, Virgo which I don't think there's a lot of people who do that um, But that also can teach you lessons about um, confirming with your body. That's what I mean. There's like there's two there's two places. There are people who are in their three D uh, that need confirmation from spirituality, and there's people who are spiritual that need confirmation from the three D. So it, it just switch the roles as they resonate. But if you're one of those people who are very spiritual, who get a lot of confirmations from the universe, and you're like, I don't know if this is real or not. Um, <laughs> The best way to see if it's real is to is to try it. Honestly, is to try it. So um, it all goes back to taking self, uh, safe risks and um, using logic. Okay, you got to use the logic and go back to the three D body when you are a very spiritual person who goes off intuition. For example, if you're someone who if you're someone who picks up on energy and it's like you went around somebody and they got this negative ass energy and all of a sudden negative energy is following you and your intuition is like, it's that motherfucker with the negative energy. But in reality, this person did nothing to you and then you were to uh, act on your intuition, you would be at fault because your intuition told you something that wasn't real. And if you would have checked in the 3D, you feel me, you wouldn't have taken that step. So that kind of, that, I only get that with like um, people who want to do like return to senders and shit like that. Um, people will get readings from me. They'll, be, they'll get readings from me and they'll be like, I've been doing return to sender on Cindy's ass all week. You feel me? And nothing has changed. And I'm like, it's because Cindy ain't doing nothing to you. Your intuition is bugging. Cindy looking at you negative because you're sending return to return to sender energy to Cindy is Cindy a sending nothing towards that's why Cindy looks at you weird so this goes back on it, it plays on both sides all right but there needs to be a confirmation sensation for the ones who are tapped into the 3d who are trying to get into the spiritual and the ones who are spiritual who are trying to tap into the 3d there needs to be physical confirmation don't just be doing stuff because your tarot reader told you to do a return to sender don't just be banishing people and, and attacking people spiritually looking up spells online because your tarot reader told you that somebody was sending negative energy towards you and you picked up negative energy from cindy don't do it okay don't do it um the next we're moving on we're moving off of that energy i feel like i've exhausted that um the next in my final um my final bit of information virgo is when you feel the emotion when you are feeling the emotion is when you can heal the emotion you feel me when you are feeling the emotion is when you can heal the emotion so um, what I'm basically trying to say with this uh, Virgo over the full moon, um, I'm very intuitive. Uh, I pick up on energy and shit like that. But over the full moon, um, they were showing me and bringing up a lot of um, emotions and things that were hidden in the full moon energy, hidden in the darkness. It's called shadow work. Okay, if you don't know what shadow work is, uh, go ahead and Google it. <laughs> but shadow work is when the things are basically when the things that are um hidden from you your shadow side the things that you don't want to look at the things that you hide away the things that you just cope with right when those things uh surface okay and during the full moon is uh, when a lot of things surface for me and that's when i go into um taking the proper steps to heal whatever emotion has surfaced for me all right so i'm just going to give you an example I'm just gonna give you an example because <laughs> that's all I got. But I was 
I was thinking a certain type of way, right? I was thinking a certain type of way and I have been living and thinking in this certain type of way for an extended amount of time to where it became my reality. You feel me? Um, and I was, and I created emotion, stability. I created a coping mechanism off of what I was believing, a program inside that I have created for myself. Uh, for instance, let's just say, um, let's just say, y'all, I can't even think of an example, damn, <laughs> give me a second, um, it's really just, it's really just the energy of a certain shift in thinking brought upon a lot of emotion for me because I was set in a way of thinking um, the thing that I was thinking. I was set in a way of thinking about a program in a fixed way, all right? And then when the full moon energy came in and exploded um, my fixed reality with reality and that I um, cannot control everything, I was then like released from my control you feel me i was i created a program inside of myself that i believed and that it was a foundation that i believed and i was very codependent on it it held all of my emotions together it held me together it made life easier and then one day when i looked at this program it exploded um and then i realized that the program that i created was only a coping mechanism for an emotion that I didn't heal. You feel me? So I had to, during the full moon, I had to then identify where this emotion came from, how to fix the emotion and how to take the proper steps to get back in spiritual and mental alignment to where I need to be. And that's what shadow work is. How do I then apply it to my life to grow and do better? So when this program was broken inside of my mind, Virgo, <laughs> when I had uh, when my mind was blown when my foundation was broken when I was having a tower moment Virgo um, the first thing that I thought was like wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute like why am I crying like wait a minute I knew this so often, often every single problem that we face, we already know the answer. We already know the answer is pretty simple. It's just our minds, our emotion, our way of coping uh, distorts, distorts our reality to make us think that we have no choice or um, that isn't an option. Um, no, there's something else, blah, 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 blah. But most of our problems have pretty clear answers and it, it's only hard to see when you're wrapped up in the emotion but that's how people who are outside of a situation can come in and fix a situation so easily because they're not wrapped up in the emotion okay but when you are <laughs> when you are wrapped up in the emotion virgo uh, i i i got the confirmation that that is the time to heal that emotion and once I applied logic to my delusion, I was no longer sad about it. You feel me? So, for example, um, for example, my mind was blown, right? The foundation that I had created out of self-delusion, blown up. You feel me? Um, and I was like, why, God? Like, why? And immediately, my logical mind said... You already knew this. You were just deluding yourself into believing that you didn't have to, that it wasn't reality. You feel me? Um, and that immediately took the emotion away because I did already know. I was only pacifying the emotion to cope with what I had to do and what was needed to do because that goes back to the beginning often what you have to do is the exact opposite of what you want to do often what you need to do is the it goes against every fiber in your being often what you're told to do intuitively doesn't seem logical 
sometimes you want to fight the universe because you don't understand the plan but the best part of the plan is that you don't understand it so it's all about going with the flow Virgo um, it's all about learning how to heal the emotions while you're in it instead of coping and distorting and creating delusions and trying to um, not see reality and I know um, as I'm talking about this half of you are going to watch this video and be like I don't do this right um and then later on when you're doing this, my voice will kick into your head and you will think about the same exact scenario. All right. Uh, that's higher knowing. That's higher knowledge. Uh, that's your higher self talking to you because your higher self, your higher self already sees all of the logical answers. Your higher self isn't in the bubble of emotions that you are. Um, and once you connect to your higher self, you're able to uh, heal the emotion, heal that bubble of emotion and do what you need to do to align yourself with your higher self, right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. That was the word of the week from your girl. That was the word of the week from your girl. Um, phew, Virgo. I'm not, I'm not sweating as bad as last time, but y'all got a little sweat out of me, okay? I'm not sweating as bad. I'm not as nervous as last time, y'all. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for the love that I received on my first video. Um, you guys are amazing. Um, it gives me so much more confidence that people like actually care about what I got to say uh, when I'm not talking about like drama and bullshit. You feel me? Um, because my channel, I really did make my channel to give you intuitive messages, magenta tarot messages. It, it talks about the crown chakra, my crown chakra messages. So it, it really isn't about like tarot and bullshit and drama. I really would hope um, that some of my messages, you know, not every single one of them, but I really would hope that some of my messages would um, help help y'all to grow because that's what I'm doing. I'm, <laughs> I'm out here in life alone <laughs> with my spirit guides and god just figuring this shit out like nobody telling me anything <laughs> like nobody teaching me you feel me um so when i come and i uh when i come and i want to share shit with y'all when i come and i share my knowledge with y'all i really appreciate that um that you receive it well you feel me and not just like Y'all know what I mean, all right? Y'all know what I mean. I'm getting carried away. Um, but I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody who clicked on this video. I hope that even if you didn't understand the things that I said to you today, that it locks into your subconscious and that you're able to grow, heal, and transform anything that you are um, suffering, holding back with, or holding on to, Virgo. Um, yeah, and this one I got here for you. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to your channel, see what's coming up next for your for the Virgos. And y'all, you know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.